Welcome, welcome everyone. The shenanigans have officially begun. And as you're tuning in, um, if you don't know what this is referring to, um, I've got a 10 day long National Scrapbook Day celebration going on. And so it starts tonight. We're, I'm kicking it off tonight and goes through the 28th so tonight is the card class so if you don't have a kit you can still um, purchase a kit obviously you wouldn't be able to make the cards tonight but if you watch along and you'd like a kit uh, just message me and i can help you i can get that to you next next week um i'm waiting on some more supplies some fun embellishments to arrive but tonight we are going to be making six fabulous cards again last month we did six normally it's five um sometimes i just can't you know i just really like the way a card came out and i just got gotta let it fly so we've got six cards tonight we're gonna get ready and hello to everyone that's jumping on if you want to share this, I'm going to give away um, a, I've got these organizational sleeves, these deco file folders um, with some card stock and um, some beautiful stickers. Those of you that got the paper kit for National Scrapbook Day will remember, will recognize these maybe. Um, but I'm going to give away uh, two to people that sh uh, share so go ahead and share to your uh, Facebook feed and then comment shared so I'm gonna give away two and then I've got a third one that everyone that's already registered for National Scrapbook Day celebration your names are in here and I'm gonna draw one from there too so it could be that one of our friends that's not even on tonight may win because they're already registered either for paper or for cards so seems like we've got a bunch on here so i think it's time for us to get started with our cards and i'm excited and i'm also whoo it's not even hot out here but I, and my lights are all like you know led and not shouldn't make me hot but these lives whew. so anyway time to stop looking at me time to start making our cards let's do this as soon as i can switch over my camera here and get it dialed in let's see i think that's going to be good all right and i haven't gone anywhere nothing's happening I've got to put this massive amount of hair I have up. All right. <clears throat> so hopefully you got your tape runner ready and your glue. We're going to work in the order that I packaged them, which is not this order, actually. This is the order I packaged them in. So we're going to <laughs> start with the most complicated and it's not complicated but it has the most little parts we're going to start with this one first so if you want to grab out your kit um, and open it up some of you might have already gotten into it and that's okay okay um Let's see, Barb is texting me, but I can't help her because I am on Facebook Live. <clears throat> Just a second. Sorry, hold please everyone. I'm texting a lost person. So 
sorry. You guys are all so patient. Um, okay. Um, hopefully you're not blurry. Is anyone else blurry? Jackie says she's blurry. Hopefully you're not blurry. I don't appear to be blurry. I mean to myself, but that doesn't mean I'm not blurry to you. Okay, so <clears throat> you've got your stack. Okay, okay, good. All right, you've got your stack of goodies here and I'm just gonna put my whole stack here over to the side and I'm gonna pull the top one off. And this is the card we're gonna be making, Celebrate. And it's got um, some hearts in there. It's also got these little lime colored um, see-through pieces, sort of like little confetti. Um, and that's a new sort of element that I've introduced into our fun. So you should have a little bag. Um, you should have a little bag with with that in there and you only need a couple um, they were getting everywhere so then I started just dumping them in the bag so um, everyone has a, a these were not counted out um, so I just kind of poured them in so you need to grab those and in addition to what's on your stack you need to pull out some items from inside your little package you're gonna need the Celebrate, which on the other side says Treasured Moments. Um, so as usual, there's gonna be options. All Most of this paper is reversible, so you'll have options whether, you know, de depending on what side um, you wanna use. You also wanna pull out your jewels. And what else do we need to pull out? And you need to pull out three of the four, um, green metallic hearts so there should be four we're going to use the fourth one on another card so just um just grab three of them out and i think that's it everything else should be ready to go for you um so i'm gonna trip over my stool here um so, of course, the first thing we're going to do is fold our base. And <clears throat> our shamrock green, that's one of the pieces of cardstock that I'm going to give one of th uh, three lucky winners tonight. So, we've got shamrock cardstock. Whoa. Hopefully your piece is not as crooked as mine. Goodness, that was really off. It's another reason why I have my personal trimmer next to me all the time. So go ahead and attach your shamrock piece and then your crosshatch piece on top of that. You can use your favorite tape. Now you won't mess up any other cards if you decide you want to use this side instead. Um, if you left your package, you know, the way, the way I had it set up for you. Um, so just, you can look at, look at both sides. I mentioned that as well so that you don't go ahead and stick adhesive on this front side thinking both are the same. Um, I like this crosshatch. <clears throat> design for this because it just kind of blends to the explosion feel I feel like all right so then for our little pocket you can just take um, some scissors and trim around I left a little bit of the I didn't go right up to the edge and of course you can also use your personal trimmer if you want to make sure that that's um, 
Oh, Carla, I'm sorry you had a tough day. I'm glad you're here. Um, you could use your personal trimmer if you want to make sure that it's nice and straight. All right, so your pocket is going to go on there. And then what we're going to do is just kind of stick everything on. So the way I stuck the pocket on, and it's hard to tell when it's flat, but you can see it from the side maybe, is I stuck the bottom down with my tape runner and then I popped up um, the sides with a dimensional, which you should have in your um, kit as well. And I did that just so that it was easier to kind of shove these items down here. So I'm just gonna kind of, the pocket isn't really holding everything because I'm gonna stick everything down inside, but I just put it along the edges and the bottom, and then I'm gonna put the dimensionals here along this, uh, the top. And not all the way across the top because I wanna be able to stick things in easily. But you could put just two on the corners or you may even wanna come down a little bit. And then some of these I cut for you, um, and then others I left them long. And so if they're long, you could kind of leave them long and just have half as much as um, as I have going on here. But you can see I used two of each color and then I used the little scrap pieces and you can cut those as well to kind of stick in and, and fill in where you need it. So you're basically making a little bouquet of paper um, coming, kind of exploding out of this pocket. And then after we stuff our pockets with all these fun embellishments, then we're gonna add our confetti and we're going to add our bling. Now I did, when I was designing it, I thought I would be able to really see the confetti on the pocket, but it's really hard to see on the navy. So I'm just gonna add more of this lime green um, confetti around. <clears throat> now, so to attach these, um, what I would suggest is kind of place them in here, just kind of play with them, right? So you can kind of separate the colors. You can uh, play with uh, their length, you know, how far they're sticking out. And then um, you can stick them down using your precision point adhesive, or you can use your, um, you can use your repositionable tape if you have some. And the repositionable tape, though it's very hard to see, um, let me see if I can see it. I don't, I mean, I guess surely it is repositionable and that's why they call it that. But it's these, ti it's tiny little dots. Can you see it on, if I hold this paper just right? Right, so it's great for, um, all of these little, these little intricate pieces because these little dots of adhesive are basically just gonna stick on the paper itself. So um, I'm gonna kind of do some of each just to show you. So that, you know, you can just kind of go right along these really intricate pieces and um, Then if I hold this right, now you can see that it's just on, on the paper part. But of course you can also use your precision point adhesive, which does a fabulous job. Um, and you're gonna need that for your jewels, but the um, The repositionable tape is a great, it's a great scrapbooking tool to have in your, 
quiver of supplies because it is really fast and also not messy at all. Um, some people struggle with the um, uh, with the precision point adhesive. I'm having a hard time talking tonight. You can also pop up, I didn't pop it up, but if you like kind of bend them back um, and, and stick them down with the adhesive toward the bottom, you can kind of lift, lift up a little bit. And I don't want them to be all um, like teal, blue, green, teal, blue, green, like that, like a, like a pattern. I want them to kind of just be random, like they're exploding out of this pocket. And we're gonna add in the little scraps of paper as filler. So every card is gonna look a little different depending on how you kind of make your paper kind of explode. And then for your little strips, after you've got your little gemstone oh I should mention that so these little pieces were made with the gemstone border maker cartridge I'm trying to catch it in the light just right but it is we use it on um, three cards tonight and it's one of the newest ones but it's definitely a fave of mine for sure so now I'm just gonna kind of cut these little pieces apart into various lengths and now there might be enough adhesive going on in your pocket where you really don't have to um, add any adhesive and you can kind of experiment with that I'm just gonna kind of put some on the bottoms of these little tabs like I said, we're I'm starting. Maybe I maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should save the the intricate one for after we're warmed up. But I try to get this one, the more intricate ones, kind of done at the top of our time together. Gives people a chance to join in. And by the way, if you're if you got on late. And you feel like you can't catch up at this point um, you can um, when we're done you can go back and watch the replay so just kind of play with these the layers move them kind of around And then after you've got all your little pieces in and you're sufficiently pleased with how your pocket of paper looks, because you know whoever you send this to is gonna scrutinize the placement of these things. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but that's what we think, right? Oh, we gotta get this right. Um, then you've got your three hearts to kind of fit into the mix and then your celebrate tag to add to the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and add my celebrate tag on now. Oh, I mean, I can use the repositionable, but since this is a nice solid piece of paper, I'm going to go ahead and stick it on with my regular tape. <clears throat> And the same with these hearts. Hopefully everyone has found us. And if you missed it at the top, I'm giving away um, three uh, Decofile folders, card, card stock, and stickers. 
and I'm going to give away two to people who are watching tonight and shared and I'm going to give away one to um, the people registered for National Scrapbook Day. And these, if you really, if you wanted to pop them up, you could kind of pop up these hearts if you wanted to, too. All right, so then once you've got your hearts on there, then you can add your lime green confetti. Um, and the way I did that, was with my precision point adhesive, I just kind of went all around and made dots. Now, if you opened up that bag, you will see that it is, um, those, these little pieces are very light and um, almost uh, translucent, and they are not gonna take much adhesive to stick. So I kind of just put um, a bunch of adhesive dots, and I can see them, so I can go back, and if if there is a piece, whoops, if there's some adhesive that doesn't end up with a little um, piece of confetti on it, I can go back and add it. But I'm just kind of going to sprinkle them around, almost like you like you do with glitter, and they kind of will find your adhesive. And then if you're, you know, hold, if you hold your card and if you see some part, um, this is just like a fingerprint of adhesive. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna throw, throw one on there. Then they're kind of stuck on there, right? So, and then that's, that's that. Oh no, that's not it. Okay, then these are little treats for later, right? These, these will find your way into your, onto the bottom of your feet and tr you'll track them through your house. These little lime green confetti hexagons. I apologize in advance. Hopefully you will think of me fondly and not be cursing me um, when you find them in odd places. I'm gonna add some more right here. And then what we're gonna do, after you've put your confetti, we're gonna add some bling. And four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I use 10 of the little blings. So now we, we need our little bling. What did I do with my bling? It's right in front of me. Hello. All right, so then, and I, I can't believe I just opened the Ziploc. Usually I just suggest you cut them open. And you've got a couple different sizes. You wanna you leave your big ones. You should have five big ones. You wanna leave those. And then you have three green. Um, you need to save four of the little ones for, um, for another card. So, <laughs> is anyone keeping track? So confusing. All right, leave your five big ones aside. And then you're going to leave four little ones aside. And then you're going to leave your green ones aside. And that's going to leave you about ten, um, ten clear, small, smallish jewels. So, I just put five little... Um, five adhesive uh, places. <laughs> I can't talk. I still can't talk. And now I'm going to go through and just cover them with the little, the little jewels. So I'm going to do ten, oops, ten total on this card five on the pocket and then um, five just out here and on the bouquet 
So this card does have a lot going on, but hopefully you're having fun. And sometimes I feel like pre-COVID, when y'all you know, would come over, you got to stamp your own stuff and ink your own stuff. And of course now I'm sending the card kits to you. And so some of them are just like, yep, just assemble them. And there isn't a lot going on. And you might actually prefer those. But this one, like I said, is definitely our most involved card tonight. But I think I think it is one that you're you're gonna like to see finished. Okay. Alrighty. Yes, my nails are green for St. Patrick's Day. They're a little bit of a little bit of a shimmer there. <clears throat> All right, so that is the card. And I know some of you all are just watching tonight and some are going to do them after. And now I'm shaking my camera as I look back at the comments. Um, so, but go ahead. I know some of you are doing them with me. <clears throat> so go ahead and comment done when you're done. And when we have a bunch of people done, then I know it's safe to move on. <clears throat> I'm not going to move on quite yet. I know that the whole bouquet thing is a lot. And I think my bouquet tonight looks much better than my bouquet the other um, the, the green gems go for another card. So don't put the, your green gems on and don't put the big, the big gems on. In fact, you could wait if you're afraid you're going to use too many on this card. You could wait until the end and go back and put your, um, go back and put all of your gems on your cards. But your green ones we're going to use on this card. And then your big ones we're going to use on this card. And then you need four little ones for this card. Oh, green, you're supposed to have, have three green. Hopefully you have three green. And I know they have a way of running off. Um, these green ones, um, the, your, I just threw a bunch in a bag and the confetti will fall where it may. Yes. When it, when the, when they're over, you know, everyone jewels at different rates. <laughs> Sometimes the cats walk off them. Okay, cool. All right, well, next up is this card. So if you found your three jewels, you can keep them handy. And while everyone is finishing, you can pull out the parts that are needed um, for this one. I'm just moving off <laughs> the confetti. Um, so go ahead and lift off your next section. Oh, good idea, Ruth. Ruth has locked her cat out. That's a good idea. Um, all right. So for this one, you should have your base or not your, your, yeah, your base, your background, um, your second background a piece of blue and a, another gemstone piece and that one is in dark green then from your embellishments you're going to grab the lucky me I have you embellishment and we're going to trim that up and then you're going to need this big clover, this um, slightly smaller, different green one, 
your other metallic heart. Your other metallic heart and your little journal box. <clears throat> now um, I chose to use the one that's this way and I'm at, we're actually going to cut off um, the design on the side. So that'd be a, an option, a variable option if that's something that you decide you want to keep. The only thing that I popped up on here with dimensionals was this um, was this one right here. Um, this four leaf clover that's on top. And then of course I added the bling on there. Now you'll notice my colors are a little reversed. Um, I was gonna do um, the whole card in this dark teal, but I, I decided to switch it up. Um, quite frankly, because we had so many, I had so many people order the cards. Um, it's probably the bandwidth, Jacqueline. That's probably what it is. So, well, I'm glad that you can see see clearly now, and I am just gonna make sure that this is square here. And we can get folding on here. Now, my jewels are actually blue. Everybody out there, every kit that got mailed and delivered has green. But mine has blue. Um, because I ran out of green. I figured that was okay for myself. And there's blue in here. So blue is also a fun choice. So we're going to stick down the background first. And this is a landscape orientation card. And now we're going to stick down the second background, which mine is practically the same size as my original. So I just took a little bit more off. And we'll stick this on here. Then we've got our little blue piece that's going to go and it's going to um, cover over this printed piece totally. It would be helpful if I kept this somewhere where you could see it. I'm going to go ahead and stick that down. So lots of just layers on this card. So I'm going to stick the blue. And then with this one, so you could leave it on if you want. Um, I'm going to chop it off. You could um, always add it to your inside of your card and add a little decoration on the inside. But I'm going to go ahead and stick that on. About a half inch from the top on that one. All right, and then we've got this little guy. I am going to use the trimmer. Those of you who live life on the edge you're probably just using your scissors, but I would definitely mess that up. So I'm going to use my trimmer to get a nice straight edge, but it's really, it's, um, it's really, uh, it's not a very long piece, so you could probably do it just fine with scissors. I just know. That I would not. Alright, so I'm gonna I trimmed it there with my um personal trimmer and then I can just come in and follow the edges. All right, and then that is actually, I put flat down on my card as well. I did not pop that up. Yes, this watercolor paper is really, is really pretty. Actually, this is in classic Tara move here. 
since I put, I put the darker part of this watercolor paper on top and it just feels upside down to me because you know if you put the darker at the bottom it, it tends to like weight the paper right it pulls your eye down <laughs> so it just seemed upside down to me I know it's a it wouldn't be a oh now look what I did goodness gracious now I've got a whole now I've got a whole situation <clears throat> well, I'm going to mess everybody up. Just kidding. I'm going to go back to the way it was. And then I'm going to turn the whole grouping around. Just please stand by. It's, this, is, this is par for the course. This is just my normal OCD-ness. Okay. I don't know why I thought that that was going to fix it. Yeah, that's not going to fix it. So we're just staying with the way it is. With the dark on top. Hopefully you all didn't just rip up your stuff. No, because you were like, what is she doing? All right. It's like that. That's the way it's staying. Even though I'd prefer the darker on the bottom. All right. So we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and stick this, this little guy down. And we're going to stick our jewel, jewel, gemstone and if that needs to get trimmed, which mine does, I'm just gonna trim it off a little bit. I'm going to use my repositionable tape to stick that down. And then I can go ahead and stick I'm gonna use the repositionable on this one too. All right, we got that down. I'm going to add our four leaf clover. Now I did it so that the where the stem comes to the four leaf clover is just on the blue paper like that and then for this one because it's going the opposite direction you're going to pop up and use your dimensionals on that one so go ahead and grab some of the dimensionals I gave you and you can put I like to put one in each little leaf and that can go on there like this and then we're going to go back we need to add our heart down here that is also I popped that up you're gonna to want to pop pop that up just add a little dimension and then you can go and add your jewels and remember yours are green mine right now are blue I ran out of the green And that's it. Doesn't look too bad for me having torn it up <laughs> for no apparent reason. Okay. And if you get done with that, you can just let me know. 
I'll leave it here. So you can see it. And I'll have a sip of water. Please excuse my ice chewing. Okay. How are we doing? Oops. If you're just jumping on and joining us right now, we're doing the card class from um, my virtual National Scrapbook Day event. There is still time for friends to join us. If you haven't already registered, the registration is $30. I'm giving away over $150 in prizes over the next 10 days. We'll have two Zoom crops and um, lots of other fun along the way. Just let me know when you're done and we will move on to the next card which is this one, to the cutest clover in the bunch, is what that little sentiment says. You don't need any jewels for this, so if you've got them kind of out on your space, you can move them off to the side. If you haven't already, you can share this live, Facebook Live, if you haven't already, and you'll be entered to win one of three prizes tonight. Well, actually, if you share, you'll be uh, entered to win one of two prizes. And then there's a third prize um, for people that are registered for National Scrapbook Day. Alrighty, it looks like we've got a few done. If you're not done, no worries. You can take your time and I'm just gonna leave this one up here. And then you can go ahead and grab your next piece off the stack. So you're gonna grab your next stack here, which should have two background pieces and then three pieces of the gemstone border maker cartridge. And then from your little pack of embellishments, you just need to grab two things and they should be on the back side. No, just kidding. One is on the back side, maybe. This little piece circle that says to the and then you also need to grab cutest clover in the bunch, if I can grab it. All right. And that's all you're gonna need for this card. This is also a landscape. It's our other, other landscape. And you can go ahead and fold your, your card base. And then you can go ahead and attach your green background. Now this piece, I just like the way the these uh, cardstock pop off this paper, but this is also an option for you too, if you're someone that's into stripes. But I just love the way the gemstone border maker cuts. Um, looked on that. So that is that. Now, what I did here was I popped up both of these embellishments. So you can go ahead and stick down. And I one of the things I love, love, love about this border maker cartridge, right, the gemstone border maker cartridge, is that they nest, is that a good um, word? They just go right 
they nest right nicely into each other. And it's great on your scrapbook pages for borders, for titles, across the top, across the bottom, down the sides. You get the drift. So you're just going to stick those on. And... I'm using the repositionable. So get all three of those on there. Nice and tight. And then you can add your dimensionals and pop and pop these guys up. So what you may want to do is actually stick these together and make them and turn them into one embellishment. So I would suggest you add your adhesive to the back of this one in the general vicinity of where the shamrock comes together with that part and then go ahead and stick stick that together. So, to the cl cutest clover in the bunch. I thought that was a cute card. And you know, we these all have um clovers on them. Well, actually not all of them. The first one, the pocket one didn't. Um but I think the rest do. But none of them are St. Patrick's Day cards. So, you can send them to your, um, you can send them to anyone. They're just really fun spring. M I, most people the, love these colors. I'm sure not everyone does, but I love the blues and greens together. That's one of the reasons I was drawn to this pack. And once you pick the perfect position for your embellishment. Now, of course, this is a card you could also do this way very easily. And that's that one. Now we're moving. And just let me know how you guys are doing. If you need... Well, if you need more time, you're not going to be able to tell me. But when you're done, you can say done. While you're finishing up. It should be... Go ahead and dump everything out of this, Anita. It, it might be on the other side or it might be hiding behind something. Um... I mean, Creative Memories could definitely have made a mistake, but that should never that should be in your package. So just pull everything out, dump everything out, and make make sure. You can also, um, you know, just leave it, and I can get you a replacement if it doesn't turn up. We are going to have a couple of things left over, like this guy and this guy and this guy. We're not going to, we're not going to use, um, we're not going to use them. So you can use them in some other of your creations. We are going to use the rest of these items in the back side though. So you can, you can pull those out. Alrighty, so our next card is this, hello there. Oh, I take it back, we are using that. I, I made these. 
<laughs> okay, we're using this one. These two we're not using right now. I mean, I might change my mind in two minutes. Just kidding. I don't think we're using any any of those. I'm going to set this one off to the side in case someone still needs to see it. This one's going to be a pretty straightforward assembly. You might decide you want to use that extra clover um, on this card right here because of this green foil. You might find a place for it on here. As, as much as I played with it, I just couldn't... Um, I couldn't find a place that I was happy for with it, but I bet one of you could. So for this, let me just grab the whole stack here. This is just one, two, three, four, five layers, and they're all flat, so you can pop things up if you want. The hello there is popped up. So that's it. If you're feeling like you're lagging to you know behind tonight this one is pretty straightforward just five layers well six if you count the embellishment slash sentiment but you're just gonna keep adding everything on you can play play you might I just liked the way that looked broken up by the white but you could most definitely change this or change this or change them both right now. You don't have to use the clover side, especially if you feel like, oh, that's just too St. Patrick's Day. Um, of course, with uh, with our family, with the O'Gormans, I don't think I'll have a problem finding and people to send this to any of these cards and like I said spring is coming what Sunday right first day of spring is Sunday so these are happy happy little spring cards just adding all the layers on and then this one. Oh, on the back it's a charmed life um, because again these are you know scrapbook scrapbooking embellishments but um, I don't know you might want to use that side instead but I went ahead and stamped hello there on there and I, oh, I am always excited to see what you all do with the cards once the kits get into your hands um, because everyone does things just a little different and I love that to see what you all create and I don't know. I still feel like I can't make it work. <laughs> I don't know why. And I feel like this is a tad crooked. All right. So there's hello there. This is what I did the other, you know, the day I created it. Eh, maybe. I don't know I just like the clean look of it like this but I can't wait to see if anyone of you decide to add on the little shamrock but that one is now done and we just have two more cards to go next up is this thank you card I always feel like I can never have too many thank yous I guess that's because I have surrounded by a lot of generous, helpful people, I guess. I have a lot of people to thank. So this one, also straightforward, I do want to say that 
this little piece here um, I made using uh, this fabulous Creative Memories tool. And this, you put a six by six inch square in and following the directions that are printed on the sides, it's very easy, um, then you make this times four. It makes a circle just like it's printed here. And so I cut that into quarters um, to use for the embellishment in the quarter of this card. And these look great on scrapbook pages, full like this with a with a picture in the middle, cut in half on the sides as borders, cut into quarters like this. Um, lots of lots of fun things. And then we haven't even started making this yet, but I didn't have my dragonfly punch, the new dragonfly punch yet, when I designed this card. But I thought, I mean. I like that just the open space I like the the cleanness of it but if you do have the dragonfly punch you might want to even add like a drag a dragonfly on this page so that's not it's not in your kit it's not um, I just wanted to show you the dragonfly punch and so I've seen a lot of people think that their punch is defective because they don't see the tail on here. So if you did get it, it's not defective. It's because the wings get punched through, but the tail doesn't. So after you punch, it drops out from the center part. But what's cool about that is the this piece that um, the negative, if you will, um, is intact. So you really have two things that you can use so it's a fun punch but that was an afterthought so if you have the um, dragonfly punch you might want to use it on this card all right so let's move on we've got just two cards left it's hard to believe all right so we'll get this card folded and then we've just got our deep teal base and then um, guess what's on the other side. So you can choose which um, paper you want to use and then we'll go ahead and stick this on. And your five larger um, jewels go in these little circles here. So I thought I'm getting ahead of myself here. use my tape runner to stick that background down and then stick down the second background use my tape again to stick. Now what I did is I didn't put it all the way out to the dark teal, but of course you could if you wanted to. Next, we're going to put on the thank you. Now I did pop that up, but I'm going to go ahead and stick my, um, my jewels down first and I'm going to load up the adhesive where the jewels are going and at this point, we just do our five big ones on here, and then we just need four little ones for the last card. And those of you who wait till the end to do all your bling at once, that's what's going on. And then on the back of this one, it says lucky and blessed. So that's also an alternative if you'd rather use that side. I don't know, I just, I, it's probably just me, but it feels like, I mean, you could, I would definitely send it to someone and say like, I feel lucky and blessed to have them in my life. But I feel, I don't know, I felt like at the time it could sound as a directive, like, hey, But 
it is a cute embellishment for um, for my for scrapbook pages. All right. Then we add on, so you saw I did add the dimensionals to the thank you, so that's punched, that's popped up. And if you do want to add, you know, another punch, those of you with the dragonfly punch, you could do that. And that card is done. Definitely. I, I just, you, you guys know, because you've been doing cards with me for a while now, but I'm a definitely a fan of just the clean the clean edges. So the the first one was a little a little a little crazy for me, right? But I know that um that's right up a lot of your alleys. The bling, the glitter, the the confetti, that card had it all. All right. And now we're on to our last card. This is it. Let the shenanigans begin. And that's also fun. Again, not necessarily um, St. Patrick's Day for sure. Um, but you could send it to someone for a birthday card. And we got a couple backgrounds on this one too. So we'll go ahead and fold that. Oh, thank you. Yes. Much faster to recreate too. If you find a design like you could with this one because of the doily or doily. Well, that's what I fondly referred to it as um you can make four cards really quick um with that because you've got four of these so with stuff like that just keeping it simple allows you to keep it send someone a fun homemade happy mail And this one just has a real thin edge. I am going to take a little bit off mine. Um, just so I have a little bit more of the blue showing. And of course, you do have options. This paper is reversible. And... Excuse my noisy stool. All right, so this piece I just stuck straight down. I did um, put this white square equidistant. It's about a half inch, three quarters of an inch off the top and sides. And then these four punched out pieces will fit inside. Or you could use the stripe side if you choose. All right, and those, I've got my hair involved in here. Okay. These uh, squares are made with a punch. Um, I especially like to do that when I'm lining them up like this because I have a hard enough time getting things straight. And if you're doing like four like this, if you hand cut squares, I, I should say, if I hand cut squares, it's impossible to get them lined up perfectly. Hi, Kim. Okay, and then these, 
you can arrange however you like and then I put them flat as well just flat in the middle of the squares because they're gonna have their little jewel in the middle and I did pop up the let the shenanigans begin embellishment and I'm gonna keep them in the same order I wanted the blues and greens opposite each other and then this one we're just gonna kind of pop up here at the bottom so um, you can use your dimensionals again for that and I didn't sit down with some of the big ones but I believe all of your packets have some little and some big goodness once I drop it it's hard to tell Our, oops come back all right and then the last thing you have to do on this is add your um, four little gems to the middle of each of these. Okay. And that card is now done. put it on top of here and I do have a couple extra gems I try to throw in a couple extra just in case but now so that's that card let me power up my computer here well it's on I just need to get to the page so I can do our drawing for this evening so in here you should just have your clover unless you used it and then laughter is best shared with friends and that would be fun to add inside one of the cards or you might find a card to add it to um, on the outside So I'm going to go ahead and get our drawing together here. And I would like to let everyone know if you didn't get an announcement from Creative Memories, if you don't have an account already with them, um, there is a free St. Patrick's Day digital elements kit. Well, not free. Basically, it's free. It's a penny. For just a penny, until March 23rd, you can get a whole little embellishment set like this. So that's something that you can print off to use on your cards or your scrapbooks, or you can use on your digital. So even if you don't do digital scrapbooking, you can get this, but you do have to have your own Creative Memories account. So if you're someone that usually just asks me to order for you and you don't have your own account, um, only you can only order one per person. So I can't order a digital kit for you. You would definitely have to, um, to create an account and um, if you go to any of the new product posts on Daytona Area Scrapbooking, you can click on the links there and it'll take you to my website, my Creative Memories website, and you can um, go ahead and purchase that fun digital kit for just a penny. Alrighty. Getting comments, all right, and we're almost.
almost there. All right, and our first winner is Gina. Congratulations, Gina. So um, I will um, save all of your winnings, um, you ladies that are registered for National Scrapbook Day, until the end of the 10 days, and then I will mail you anything you order or have won in one package. Okie doke, so congratulations, Gina. And let's see, I'm gonna pick another winner. And, and that is Jacqueline Wilbanks. So congratulations, Jacqueline Wilbanks, you won. And now I'm gonna go into these tickets for a third winner. And that lucky person is Vicki Edwards, and she is not on tonight, and that is okay. She signed up for the paper kit, and so I will get one of these little prizes to her. So congratulations, everyone. Thank you all for being on here tonight. Um, I do have one request. If you are in the National Scrapbook Day group, make sure you um, have joined and that you check for, um, you hop in there and check for announcements. I'm actually gonna go live in there next um, for a couple quick announcements about our next 10 days together. So thank you everyone for joining the card class. Um, and I hope you enjoyed yourself and I will see you all again soon, and I guess that's it. Stay scrappy, friends.